being on a show where people are watching you 24 7 they're always going to have an opinion about the way you breathe and the way you speak and the way you blink you know what i mean you're not an instagram quote like not everyone's going to like you <laughs> Tabood is my new single. It's my uh, fourth Arabic song, third in Egyptian. And uh, it's a very fun song. So it's basically an adaptation of Dalida's Bambino. Naveen Ragab, the director, really just wanted to show how a live performance at that time, like in the 60s and 70s, really went down, uh, even with the little imperfections. Like starting off as a singer who didn't sing in Arabic, Star Academy was my only gateway. The show and the producers decided to use my life as clickbait. Like they just decided to take an aspect that wasn't necessarily anything that I wanted people to know or even showed. And obviously we know how on TV they love to exaggerate things, so they made it a storyline. But now being 28 years old and like thinking about it again, it was just a lot to take in for an 18 year old. I would do it again if it was the only opportunity I had, but I would do it differently maybe. Meme, I don't have one, but I can tell you that I crowned myself as the queen of gifs or gifs when my video came out. <laughs> and this little Asian boy going like that. <laughs> Ooh, um, Sahir al Hub. Ah, oh, and, and, remember Fairuz? I used to love her movies, like my and Actually, you know what? My favorite book would probably be Le Petit Prince. Le, le, le Petit Prince. Yeah, uh, it's very sad, but the people I text the most are the people in my family group, which are my mom, my dad, my husband, and my sister. Favorite word in Arabic? Yeah. That's such a weird thing. Yeah, like I, I, I feel like it's something I should think about from What's your favorite word in Arabic? Oh, I haven't thought about that. Actually. See? <laughs> I really like Ukhtin, and I really like what they've done with their brand and with themselves, and these ladies are super hardworking, like it's crazy. So I really respect them for that. Wait! My other favorite Egyptian designer, my husband! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to call it a fashion faux pas, but can I call it a beauty faux pas? I'd get, go get my makeup done for like a concert or performance. There was always like this white face and like this like orange bronzer. And then I look at my pictures now, I'm like, even if I want to post it, I'm like, I look ridiculous. Like, no. I don't see me. Ooh, my favorite Lebanese dish is my favorite thing ever. It's this, um, it's very Lebanese, it's called Mokhrabiyye. I usually drink water because I'm someone who drinks an insane amount of water. My, my AirPods. My perfume, which I've had for the last 10 years. So minus all the drama and the suicide, you know what I'm going to say, all the suicidal thoughts and the everything, I would definitely be Dalida. So many. No, like we can sit here for hours, like you can get the coffee and we can start now. You know what I would be? I'm going to tell you what I would be. And this is really weird, okay? But I have an obsession with conspiracy theories, okay? so. And there's certain ones, right? So with the Russian royal family, with, with how, what happened to them, with Marilyn Monroe and how she died, um, and so many others. So I would really like to be any insider who actually knew what happened to these people.